What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Louisiana Empire Total War Let's Play campaign part 60. Incorrectly said it was part 80 and I've just checked and I was wrong. Huh, but still, it is a, our special and we've, we're falling on from the, the, the grueling defence of Katak where we slaughtered our enemies. So Gerard Bellamont is a rake in England. So let's set about getting this agent Durant. deployed onto the continent get him into Calais disembark Slipping ashore. so I'm sending the bulk of my agents well, I'm, spend, oh, I'm sending uh, actually uh, maybe get into Cologne that's where we've not got a lot of visibility on what's going on in there I want to send this agent down towards Madrid to try and get some visibility on what's going on there. We can rebuild the last two, repair the last two buildings here. We can make sure this force is being fully replenished. We recruit a bunch of elite troops, so let's now get some, or well, a bunch of basic troops. Let's get some elite troops ready because they're not not completely needed yet. Although actually, it might be a good idea to. To ship them over. Jump to it and look Make ready. Get these men embarked. Away, boys, for away. And then disembark. Get them within range of France. So let's. Okay, let's take this less Make ready. this experienced but not full infantry unit and swap them. In here, everyone else is okay. Lord. You continue to replenish. We've got a Ships, bunch of fifth rates, which I want to send. Let's break these up and let's get them covering the coasts of our enemies. France is, Spain is ready with an army there, so we don't want to lose. We don't want to keep. We don't want our cities to be completely undefended. Although we are developing a brand spanking new force up here in Scotland. Although you could do with extreme de chasseur a pied, and then they, let's get another. You have light infantry guards. Trade route raided. Raid away, Buster. Okay, let's upgrade our religious buildings. You can probably push on towards Ahmedabad. As you desire. Don't quite know where you're going that way, but all right. Upgrade a lot of mines to top level mines. May as well upgrade this pleasure gardens. Let's not go crazy. We've only got 14 grand, especially when we do have a lot of demands here at home such as you guys marching east to make sure they don't Any uh, surprise us and push on Bengal to be honest you can probably auto resolve knock out yeah Glorious. auto resolve knock out that army and can, can replenish you guys at the ready. So stay about Whoa. here but we still need to replenish with these guys. We can't go too mad. Make ready. But what I want to check out is... Yeah, you can... Hit the Udaipur. Udaipur, Udaipur. Maintain siege for now. I made a bad... That's that there's a limit on the number of sepoys we can build. What happens if I move Theodore out of the city? They don't hate us, which is important. So you could actually start to push up towards Lahore. Because right now we could make quite a serious effort against their remaining territories up here. I mean, we are at war with Persia. So as we push up, we want to fortify this river. Uh, 
And we still need to be careful on Nagpur because there's a lot of troops. I want them to slowly... I want them to try and draw their men away. Maybe drop these guys down here. In case these men turn south. That's so what you need. You men need to replenish. And refresh these territories. Refresh these armies up into full stacks again. You can build a craft workshop. We still do have a financial problem. But let's take Gaston Mansart and go and attack the garrison here at Udaipur because they are currently unsupported. And it's got a bunch of low quality troops, a lot of artillery, so we do need to push up fairly aggressively, but not too aggressively. Although they don't have much, much in the way of melee infantry to worry about, so let's go and take them out. They have no walls, so it will be a pitched battle to go in and clear them out. We don't want to uh, take too long, I think. We're in a position here where we can surround and suffocate the Mughal forces and prevent them from moving or trying to, to push. And if they do push anywhere, then that will leave their cities exposed. Okay, this is like the only good position for our field artillery. The howitzers can deploy up with us. Push up, push up, push up. Push, 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 push. Cavalry on each flank. My general will join them. Uh-oh. Reinforcements coming in. It's not quite what I was planning. Especially Theodore. No. Run, Theodore, run! We don't get many hits with our quick climbing howitzers as we would like. But that's okay. Curse, yeah, that's a different matter. Hunker them down. Field artillery focus on this unit of war elephants. Yeah, they've realised they're in trouble. Limber out my howitzers because it's a shame to leave them back. They're not being as useful as they could be. Heal artillery is coming in, so it should be fine. Sure. Yeah, look, these poor mortars. Like, oh, they're getting so close. It's like, I know. Can't make sure you guys are hooked up. Let's push you up. push out my cressiers to go hit this unit of levy that way we can begin to swing one flank down like this and then start to choke them of supply and support then we can just roll them up To be honest, you guys could probably form that line as well. Or help form the line. The eyes are serving just to chew them up. The Islamic swords will suffering. Knocked out there basic infantry French infantry can pro my artillery can probably halt and fire round shot for now because it looks like the door's been slammed shut in their faces look 
looks like they're going to be in a bit of trouble. So his horsemen are charging in, but they broke right at the critical moment. Bring in my cuirassier. There we go. The core of their army is broken. It will not be long till my till the troops on the flank join them. Are you charging into the combat? Okay, they are. Don't join them, elephant. Don't join them, general. Field artillery hit those damn elephants. Charge my charge my cavalry in. These men are done for. They just got outmaneuvered. And there was nothing they could do about it. Well, these guys are trying to do something about it. The <laughs> enemy general's been knocked out. Okay, let's set up one line like that. Let's set up another line sort of like that. There go the levy. Swordsman. I'm sorry, cavalry. There we go. The swordsmen are, out of, are uh, wavering. Now it's all on the war elephants. They're doing good damage. But they're about to be about to be some artillery flying in here. What a decisive route. There we go. We've managed to make the elephants route. Our cavalry is unhappy about our use of them as target practice. There we go. Territory secured. So we've managed to knock them out for five, nearly five and a half, well, nearly their entire garrison. Nine men remaining. Territory captured. Let's get our men replenished. Uh, where's my prince to push you up to Udaipur? Do you have any buildings you don't want? No universities to look at. Let's build a church school. You will likely raid it, but I don't mind. Then we have this army. Oh, you can auto resolve that for darn sure. Part we wanted to take though, or get to, was this bridge here, because then we put Akbarabad within spitting distance. That means Theodore's got a good run up towards Lahore. There is a couple of armies up here to deal with. Ah, oh, my agent got executed. But we will soon have Berar surrounded. We will need to keep pushing out and maintaining the pressure. I probably do want to keep keep men being recruited here, but let's try and get some howitzers recruited here. Got two forces here, so this guy should be replenished by the time these guys come this way to cause problems. Military tech preserved, foods, and now we've got top gallants. Do you want top guns or do you want a shrapnel shot? You're slightly faster at researching. We could do mass production. Reduce the recruitment costs of all that stuff and also boosts our 
wealth gain. You're continuing your march up to Yankton. We also want you up here as well to start to interfere and cause upset. We've done all the construction. Done this chat. Workers rioting in France. Well, now they've got that out of their system. They're okay. Lots of Austrian forces that I'm expecting to come and smash us. This force could do with Ready some replenishment. Uh, no one's super duper weak there to swap out, so I'm okay there. I mean, you men could hold the bridge just to prevent them from having an easy time of it. Then this force here, although we've not got the money to do a... to replenish and upgrade this position, so I'd rather not do that. Small Swedish army running down from the top. To be honest, you might go and head them off rather than going here to cross over and hit Finland or land down here. I think it's probably better off I hit in turn while we get some cash back. Well, there goes the Royal Navy, still being scamps. Reverse course. <laughs> yeah, at the very least, by interfering with their ports, it's giving Austria a reason to uh, keep troops back to prevent us from raiding at will and as easily as we would like to. But yeah, really, we need to break the... we need to break India, push through Persia, and then just march up through the Ottoman Empire and start to hit uh, Swedish territory in Russia from the southeast. It will not take Austria long to reorganise. Yeah, kicking us out of their ports. Oh, they're marching up to Hanover, but Hanover, but they've not engaged us. There is a chance I overextended in Hanover somewhat, and it might actually be better to s not sally, but march out and engage the army if they're alone, which they are, so that I can repel them and maintain my construction of fortifications. But yeah, I need to really focus on India, really. I need to win in India and knock them out. And then I can unleash my considerable forces into the uh, into the European theatre. Have some have some troops push across North Africa. Have some push up through Ankara and up into Russia. Then have some once I've made seafall for the want of a better word against the western edge of well, you know the. the, the Eastern Mediterranean, Jerusalem coastline, that kind of region, I can uh, ship them straight across and start hitting these Austrian territories. Yeah. It's understandable that Sweden's going to start funneling troops. Yeah, but you can't do anything. You can just raid my garrison at Christiana is growing stronger by the day, so... Good. Okay. Looks like they're trying to move troops out of the Beral region. It looks like. It'll be a pretty decisive play if I can knock out their armies without actually engaging any well, if I could knock out their armies by taking their cities that would be quite a good play Berra though is a tricky one
but it looks like those men they do have men well they are still intent on pushing rake in the leeward islands you're not going to do anything the new traits and ancillaries yeah i'm okay with that depleted army chock full of cavalry if i had walls that would be perfect which means we'll probably sally to engage them first i do want to check what's going on down here so can you march over here and hit Kazi Khan? let's go take them out we need to just keep engaging the moogles really there's no there's no two ways about it we just can't it's tempting to try and avoid them but right now we've squashed their production capability so we just need to engage them head on drop the artillery behind the lines to lob the shells this is a very small force so no cleverness, ne cleverness needed ideally we will chase them down as much as humanly possible Camel Nomads, I got guard to core, so. Sapahi, they're worthwhile. To note, there goes the great gun. They've lost almost their entire set of crewmen. So, you know, don't charge them, let my infantry get off a volley. those Sipani have decided to march very close to us. So my guard de corps, yeah. Even though camels get a boost. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. Pick new troop, quick. Okay, Sipani decided to finally charge us, but they're down to 30-odd men. Swordsman, but whatever. Let's do it. They're shaking because they're losing. They're shaking because they're losing a lot of men. Wavering because uh, turns out they aren't quite the swordsman they thought they were. Not compared to me, dudes on horses. You chase down the swordsmen because they're a good, a good unit to kill. Sipahi are running. Get my artillery to focus on the general's bodyguard because I don't want an errant unit of of uh, camels spoiling my fun. down the levee. No, oh, no. Camels. General, run. Henry mercenaries have formed squares. So let's run my... No, General, run. More dervishes pushing in. Little bashy musketeers are upset. You guys switch to round sharp again. Bombarding those Ellie's, because they're not going to leave my general. Well, not Ellie's, camels. 
run you guys forward. These guys are having a great time against the mercenaries. General, go hit the levy. They're not quite who I'd like you to hit, but take what we can get at times. Come on. Oh, the guard to core causing problems. Not, not causing problems. Where's my general? Yeah, he's doing the right thing. You guys need to push and chase down the dervishes. Camels have been knocked out to chase down the infantry. Have you guys finished killing your men? You have. Help out our guard decor. All my artillery focus on the general. Get my infantry back out of the way. Fairly sure my artillery will do make quick work of those elephants. Yep, there they go. Continue. Just keep an eye on all my units. Just keep charging them down. Doesn't it take surprisingly little sometimes to make? It's like you look and go, oh, that's a lot of men. But then you click, you right click a few times, and suddenly your guys are incredibly efficient. Yeah, they can chase on the camel, they probably won't get them, but let's. Let's reach. Not the best cavalry to, to use for this task. But you take what you can get. There is a unit way over there that we're not going to get. Well. Got no choice now. No, oh, there they go. They've routed. So let's see just how much... Okay, good. We've knocked him down to 359 men remaining. Good, you devils. Then we can replenish. Yes. So they are, they are determined to do stuff, these guys are. If I run over... I mean, they're all in good... Because they're in good shape. You are surprisingly being left alone. I mean, there is a big army to the north. But let's keep pushing you towards the hall. And let's give this army a conundrum. Does he intercept Theodore? Or does he intercept Mathis? Put them under siege. Because you are depleted. Okay, this force here. Can you leave Udaipur? Unlikely. What if I transport these men north? Minus three. It's an improvement. So I'm hoping is can this army, while they're replenishing, sprint for Srinagar? Could even exempt these guys from tax temporarily. Let's build a religious school here. One turn till Udaipur has. It's fortified. I might 
Not in typo, in the rune. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Put this force over here. They're not going to get anywhere in one turn. I just want to keep keep an army between them and the capital. These guys can actually go east again. If you guys keep replenishing, you will eventually sort out... You'll eventually sort yourselves out, and then you'll be able to march east to also help chase down these armies. We're slowly squeezing the pocket around Nagpur. Hope, oh, I mean, I wish they would build defences. Yeah, we're causing them some procedural problems now. You can actually recruit some... Not the best troops in terms of variety. Humble servant. See, actually, you guys might go for a diaper. I should have thought about that. At the ready. You won't get there in one turn, though, and the Medabad can pick up some reinforcements while they manually recruit some artillery themselves. If I recruit a Weaver's Cottage, that might provide the bait they need to keep them in the region. So at 25,000. Now that's probably enough to go hit Dresden and clear out the Swedish dogs. So whatever I do, I want to run in, knock down universities and build defences around the city. That, I think, would be the the best outcome. So a lot of Swedish cavalry on the field. Let's put the cavalry up, put my artillery up on this high ground behind me. Let's play my artillery forward. Maybe even slightly off angle. Off axis. So let's make... A long line, not to do a necessarily to do, to do a dumb, straightforward attack, but to provide a wide front so that we can pick where we want to push from. A lot of cavalry up front. Their infantry is there. The bulk of their forces are to the rear. Crucially, not within quick line range. Not, I think they really need to be. Okay, let's limber up. Limber my how my howitzers up. My artillery, my cavalry can push. My infantry need to run, so they don't get too ruined from artillery fire. So let's pick this wing apart from my cavalry to form a front here. Let's pick the some units to go clear the town, including cavalry. Looks like they're, they're moving to try and protect the town. The Blunderbuss shotgunners will get some good early shots, but I'm afraid... Well, will they? I might have to actually do something like that. Actually, let's do this. Where's my cavalry? Run you in. Suicide against the mortars, because that's an awful lot of fire they've got through here. As this unit of Blunderbuss shotgunners is getting shot to pieces. Colonial militia, understandably, is very upset at the fire being poured onto it. So let's push 
that line up. Let's push up my flank and also carry on storming my cavalry in. My cuirassiers are doing good work against their dragoons. Run my Cura de Bois up the flank. There we go. We avoided their bodyguard, we avoided their defences. So we can now roll up their mortar positions. And also pivot my infantry like that entirely. Keep pushing, fix my artillery on their general's bodyguard. Keep on running. Unit of infantry broke. They finally got round to counter charging us though. Drop this unit into square just to keep them sweet. Push these guys up into the melee to support my cavalry. They came back as I knew they would. My Kuro's Kuro de Bois up here. Yeah. The end of the Light Dragoons. Let's run those in against the mortars. Let's target. Let's stop targeting anyone with my artillery. Okay, let's take you three units, position you like so to keep them in a box. You men also charge in to the guns. And the general's been killed trying to charge my square. Maybe my skirmishes. There, hide. and colonial line come around like so where's my light colonial light so we're getting some shots off on the corner of those elite infantry units fellows. Actually, you men take position there. You guys come through to help hit the line infantry guards. These cuirassiers can break off and actually support that combat. They're not needed to kill the militia. Go on, you men. Fire! to the backs of those. Understandably our cavalry is also upset at this development. There we go, then in come my cuirassiers. Send these men in as well. Hatchets raised. Here come more infantry. Yes, guardsmen, you cannot stand against the Louisiana troops. Is that everyone? Looks like everyone. Awesome. Damn right, it was a heroic victory. They've been bloodily repulsed. Not bloody repulsed. We're taking their city. They, we didn't. They didn't. We didn't. They didn't repel us. No, we didn't repel them. We were coming in to take their stuff. Okay, so focus on the 
buildings that will provide order bonuses. You guys are replenishing. And we're building walls to defend us. Actually, you guys can probably do something like... Too bad I lost some experience there. But let's take some of these units and consume them boosting other units then we can march up probably a unit of grenadiers and a unit of infantry oh, forward to Dresden awesome let's upgrade the army staff college we're officially oh actually let's, make, let's not make us officially skin let's take this army uh, do I attack them or do I let them attack me that's the question What I definitely do is take these guys up here. Although I could, pull, oh, if I attack them, it pushes them away from it for a turn, and it gets me an extra. Well, it gets me walls then next turn, so it's probably a good decision to push them away to allow us to make Hanover more defensive. Whereas if they siege us, then that effort, that construction effort, is paused. It's a bunch of cavalry, so lots of square formations will deal with most of them. But let's take them out. This will be the last action of the turn because we will now have zero cash. Think think of the empire we control and we have no money. Our, our bank, we're spending our entire balance every turn. In terms of upgrading, replenishing, building troops. Okay, let's build... Okay, let's put... Two. These guns together. Put a mercenary unit inside the building. Let's put a infantry unit at full strength off to one side, which means the guns will have to move. Let's put a nice strong force on the right flank. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. So they're deployed, so then everyone else take position. Which I'm sure. Yeah. Need you guys. You're there. You're in the house. Deploy them like so. Cavalry be ready to counter charge. Artillery hunker down, firing quick climb. General amongst the trees. Too bad I don't have shrapnel shot. Because this would be glorious. We better actually target these shots. Because this could be some excellent quick line coming in. General's. Oh, building captured. Thought it was. <laughs> thought it was going to tell me that I killed their general. We have killed their general, sir. No, they must break. No, they mustn't. Cavalry, artillery, it's pretty much all cavalry, right? So I am inclined to bomb the bejesus out of them. If they will let us. Here we go. We've committed a bunch of their cavalry on the right. Squares, square formations across the board. Definitely square formations across the board. Quick climb, hit their infantry coming in. Push these men up, because it looks like they've exploited most of the cavalry they've got. You guys just blast the Curiassier guards. Stay in square, maintain your squares. Make 
maintain the square. It might suck, but you'll be alive. It's really hard to kill infantry in squares. Extra carabiners, then we'll charge in. There we go, they've been repulsed. So what have they got back here? They do, they do have a Grenadier Guard unit. Back here, you guys blast the infantry with canister shot. No infantry, square. So carabiners is not such a problem because they're quite squishy cavalry anyway. You men pour fire into the general's bodyguard, hopefully. I mean, you guys don't need to be firing off shots rapidly, man. Swiss guards pushing in. See, they're actually a problem. To go after the general's bodyguards with them. Just get my cuirassiers out of there. Let my square formations do the work. You guys can actually charge the Swiss guards. It doesn't actually matter if you're in square or not. So these men swarm the general. Good musketry into the back of them is doing the good doing doing the sort of work we want to see. Howitzers switch to round shot, focus horse grenadier guards at the rear. Lots of lots of shots poured into the back of those horse grenadier guards. Let's take you guys. I want you to start there. Good. The men pour canister shot into them. General's been killed. Crossiers have knocked out the household cavalry. Their cavalry in general is very is 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 dead. So these men that took the hit can now be asked to push forward provide fire against come on the enemy who's that who's Liz eh quick climb okay these engineers could go hit the heavy horse artillery if that's the case These infantry can. God damn, this map's weird today. I recorded a bunch of Brutia videos and it doesn't do anything. It's just normal. So I don't quite know how much of it is the mouse being dodgy or Empire being funny. Let's do this, assuming, assuming our men knock out these Grenadier Guards and assuming that their own. their own artillery causes some upset. So we do have unit grenadiers back here which we're going to engage with field artillery fire. Ninth Regiment of Fusiliers. To get 
hammered in the flank. So we've got some Pandors at, the, at close range, which I don't mind them getting some pot shots off. Push these men further up in the trees to hit the Grenadiers. Engage them at point blank range. Second rank. Fusiliers still fancy their chances. Pivot, you guys like so. Hello. They were hiding a lot of their men. Too bad that as a result, they're not concentrating their force anywhere. Down to wavering again. And they're gone. These men can push up to here. Fire into the flank of the guards. Chasseurs à cheval and my horse guards. Chase them down. Grenadiers. Austrian engineers don't stand a chance. There go the fusiliers. Oh, let's stop my houses from firing. A bit late, but it was a miss anyway, thankfully. There we go, they've been knocked out. Cavalry. Finish him off. Go on, take out that last. There, you guys have to go after the fusiliers. You guys go after. Doesn't matter. Oh, I could have shot my own general then. God damn, chasseurs à cheval. I need to get rid of them. Kill the last handful of fusiliers. That wasn't a close victory. It was a bit dodge, I must admit, because they really hit us with all that cavalry. But they suffered a bigger defeat. The Lord. Make so let's take March. some of these men. Let's consume... Unit of infantry. Yes. Let's get a fresh one back March. in. Let's do the same with this unit because they were the weakest. March. Filter them out. Filter fresh units Orders. in. You may replenish. You guys keep replenishing. So the next turn we've got a we've got some defenses built, which is pretty sweet. And then you can run this side of that March. Swedish army March. and just. Take him out. My lord. You may replenish and get up, up to the street. Get up or we'll get along the road because you need to start to, ch to uh, counter some of these Swedish stacks coming in. We do want to build, eventually build a, a garrison here so that we can deploy this army somewhere more useful. Maybe Finland and then try and get a Actually, is it even worse trying to get a peace now with Sweden? They likely won't give it to us. Hey, they did. We've got platoon firing. It's pretty sweet. But the reason why I wanted to do this is because it means it... Uh, a, it pushes their troops away. Which means we can march this guy up to the border with relative ease. Then we can then deploy this army to go fight against the Austrians in some way. Man, lots of churches. 
to be honest, I've got no money, so it's no point in me actually looking at what's been built and what hasn't. Although it looks like we are upgrading them all anyway. So let's hit enter. As we push up on all fronts against so many enemies. Yeah, the Spanish are starting to send men up from Madrid. Which is okay. I'm not entirely fussed about Spain coming after me yet. So let's see how Austria responds to these actions. If they take if they can take out Bavaria, that would be great, because it would be something I won't have to do. Oh, they're coming in after us again. We just need to replenish and fortify. They might come straight after us at Dresden, actually. That's quite a big deployment of men. Is it worth trying to get a temporary peace with Austria as well? We have given them quite a big bloody nose as well. And they're going to do some raiding. A peace would be interesting. Because again, it would just push them away from our buildings, while, or push them away from our territories while we build reinforcing troops, while we build uh, defences. It could be potentially quite beneficial. As then it would allow us to focus our capital on the final defeat of the Mughal Empire. Hmm. It's an interesting consideration. I'll have to see if they go for it. Really, I should have done it after that last big battle. Because it feels like I have absolutely nothing to back this up with. But it always feels like the AI is more open to ceasefires after they've suffered a defeat at your hands. I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't know how it calculates the likelihood of success. But usually, if I've just kicked the enemy's backside and they've lost a big chunk of territory or land or well, territory land same thing or they've lost a significant number of troops then that's usually enough to make them go actually you know what maybe we don't want to be at war with these people maybe a peace isn't so bad i mean this looks like it's going to backfire Because now there's a Swedish army loose in the world. Meh, yeah, wherever they go, we will destroy them. Persia's got to be on the way to Nerun soon. Mm, troops are being recruited. You don't watch out. You're not going to have any... Okay, they're pushing on the territory, which is interesting to observe. If you leave too many men... If you don't if you don't put too many... Enough men near Berar, I am going to hit it. Enemy approaching! Ooh, you're going to attack me. And I don't know why it's given us bad odds, because we're broadly the similar strength. But, looking at the timer, we're as near as damn it um, at the end of the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for this uh, defeat against the Mughal Empire. Well, I'm going to the defeat of the Mughal Empire. Cheers everyone.